Hey there, I am Arnold Mint. Champagne is a fabulous thing, but sometimes for parties, it can be a bit much. My sparkling champagne punch not only tastes great, but is creative, visually cool, and will also stretch your budget. So what we have here is a two and a half gallon punch bowl. I have ginger ale, pineapple juice, cranberry juice, a mix of fresh fruit, a little bit of vodka, and of course, some sparkling wine. I also need a bun pan. That's right, a bun pan. What we have here is a two and a half gallon party punch bowl. And what we're gonna do is build a punch in here and stretch it with a whole bunch of juices and fabulous flavors. So the purpose of this bun pan is to create an ice ring with a whole bunch of fruit juice and fruit. Not only is it gonna keep it cold, as it melts, it's not gonna dilute the flavor like normal ice would. For this particular ice mold, I've chosen lemons, oranges, and freshly cut pineapple. And all I'm gonna do is place the fruit into the bun pan. For different seasons and special holidays, you can use things like cranberries and bay leaves. You might want to throw some apples or strawberries in it if you want to, but this is gonna be really, really pretty as is. I'm just gonna take some cranberry juice here. And pour it to about halfway. Now that I have everything in the bun pan, I'm gonna freeze it. You don't need a party to have flavored ice. You can make ice like this for everyday use. All you have to do is get an ice tray and place a little bit of fruit in each section. Then take your fruit juice of choice and pour it right into the tray, like so. Just throw them in the freezer and you'll have a tasty treat all the time. Just like this. This sangria punch is a basic two-in-one recipe. And all we're gonna do is place two cups of vodka into the punch bowl, like so. Then I'm gonna put one quart of pineapple juice. One liter of fizzy ginger ale. and one bottle of sparkling wine. But I have a little tip for you. There's a lot of pressure in this bottle. So whenever I work with sparkling wine or champagne, I always like to keep a towel on top of it. That way, I avoid any chance of it popping in my eye. Place the napkin over the bottle top and slightly twist it. And get a little pop like this. Not too much, just like that. Safety first, right into the punch bowl. Give it a little stir and just wait for the ice. So check this out. It kind of looks like a jello mold, but it's a big old ice cube. I took the bun pan, flipped it upside down, and ran a little hot water over it under the sink. And I popped it out just like this. Now I'm gonna gently pick up this beautiful ice ring and place it into the punch bowl. This is a really great idea because not only does it look cool, when I serve it, it stays cool and it's gonna taste great all night long. Party.